let's finish up Shiribako episodes <laughs> 23 and 24. <laughs> okay, no. so 23 is great because, you know, like they have, they've been charged with doing a retake on yes. the last episode. And then just the sequence of the director going all like cowboy and going into yes. the, yeah, to meet the author of Ari- Third Aerial Girl Squad. Squad? Um, yeah. yeah. That's such a cute like sequence. I love that. But I, I just love how they get together and work it out. You gotta and, pony oh, up. Yeah. yeah. And they they <laughs> work out a perfect solution and it's so inspiring. They just became best friends is pretty much what happened. <laughs> yeah. And like when you find out that the editor was just a, like just an awful guy. Yeah, Funny I story. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. Uh, but the fact that he wasn't even relaying messages to the author. Um, yeah, that was no good. Was But I, I just like that there was a solution to it. And like they had to go through a lot to get there, but they did. And then I like as soon as it clicked with me, when they were like, oh, we're going to have a little sister who could voice act this, I was like, oh, man. Because <laughs> like, after episode 22, I was like, Oh my God, she's she's not gonna get. How is she gonna get a chance to work with them on anything before the show's over? You yeah. know. Yeah. And and then it's like we need a little sister who sounds slightly younger. There's someone I have in mind, and I was like, <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I started crying. Yeah. I cry every time when yeah. Mia Mori sees her. It's just. Oh my oh, God! I know. When Mia Mori like she doesn't know right? She doesn't know who's coming in, and so when her friend comes in, she's just like, Oh. Oh my god and she's just sobbing and i was sobbing oh my god oh no yeah. like even parts of the lines i'm like getting teared up i know, I know. um <laughs> like parts of shizuka's lines too is about like reaching her dreams and stuff and it's she like, oh my god <laughs> it's so it's just so well done in that it's very symbolic but it's not like cheesy about it like it's just like here's this sweet thing where she's delivering these final lines they came up mm-hmm. with this great solution to change the ending um without sacrificing what you know both creators wanted uh, essentially and then she comes in her whole thing is about reaching her dreams oh, yeah it's like a perfect. kill me <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think our, i think one of our viewers slash listeners james holton Put it really well when he's like, finally, the episode I've been waiting to post about has arrived. I love Seichi's shining moment as he dons cowboy attire <laughs> for a showdown with Nogami. It was great to see his determination illustrated through the challenges he had to overcome getting past the editorial department. I was pumped and excited, shouting, go! Don't let anything stand in your way! <laughs> yeah. To see the two creators exactly. reach a compromise after a short deliberation so that third Aerial Girls squad could end on a happier note was an excellent conclusion for all the hurdles the company had to jump over and seeing Shizuka open that door is a moment you have to cheer for as a viewer you understand the significance of this and it's true it's a very like yeah. emotional poignant moment in the show where it's like you're not sure this is ever going to happen you know and then Shizuka gets it she like she gets can't help but be they proud all get <laughs> to work together yeah. you're going to cry oh yeah. no don't cry I was just thinking oh, of that <laughs> It's just that scene with Miyamori, and she's just sitting there, she's holding she it back. Yeah. And then when they mentioned the part about their dreams, and she just like she just, she just breaks down, I almost curse, but uh. <laughs> 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 oh my god, when she like is holding it in front of her face and like trying, trying to, to just look. keep mm-hmm. it together. Just, just keep it together. Just yeah. Like, Best oh. happy tears. Oh, that was, goodness. That was the, the, the biggest scene of the, the anime, I think. Um, but just to bring it back a little bit, the third Ariel Girls Squad, like. If it would have ended with death, just like, what? Yeah. yeah. I mean, terrible. I'm, I'm really glad they fought back on that. So this also poses an interesting problem where that the manga that they're basing their anime off is just hasn't finished. Mm-hmm. So they don't know where this is going. So like, you know, I understand the mangaka is like, hesitation with letting them do their own thing because it's like, I don't even know where this is going yet. Yeah. Like, that's what he even says. He's like, I don't know what I want her to do. Yeah. And together they figure it out. And like, he still has that chance to change things if he wants, sure. but. Yeah, like they figure out together that, like he didn't want Arya to fly again. And the whole thing was like, she hasn't found her reason for doing that yet. Um, and so instead of saying, don't don't let her fly again, it was more like, Let's well, let's find the reason. Yeah, um, you said Arya, and I got to thinking that Game of Thrones is also not finished, <laughs> which got me thinking that like this is the animated version of George R. R. Martin, where it's like I don't know where it's going to end, but the show is whoosh, yeah. going past it. So I, I really just like, reminded me of that uh, again from Facebook. I really like what Greg Garner said. It says Zuka's casting must have meant almost as much to Aoi as it did to Zuka herself. Zuka is the Lucy to Aoi's Arya as she reads her scene, mm-hmm. and Aoi breaks at the. Re- 
breaks down at the realization that their dream has come true. So I really like that because, I mean, the parallels are obvious, right? Like Arya mm -hmm. doesn't know what she wants to do. She doesn't have, she doesn't want to do any, like there's nothing that she really wants to do. And Aoi's whole struggle is like her friends have specific things and production is more of a big picture thing. And she's felt kind of lost in that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so having that come together and having Zuka be the, like play Lucy and, and join the anime that they're all working on, the four of them, and now she's she's finally completed all of them are working on this anime, uh, helps her find her place, and it's just really meaningful. Mm -hmm. And that's why you cry. Yeah, and yeah. then Greg Aww. continues to say, Shirobako never lets us forget that the search for career satisfaction is painful and exhausting, but it reassures us that the search is worth it and that hard work can be rewarded. Yes. Yeah. yes. I, I also love that it's a continuation of the previous episode where they're asking, why do you work on anime? Mm -hmm. um, because she doesn't have an answer for that. And um, but a lot of the older people are like, well, I liked it, and now it's forty years later. <laughs> yeah. And um, I just thought that was I just like that they really continued. They they devoted themselves to that thread and yeah. really um, delivered on it <laughs> in episode twenty three. Yep. And then twenty four, the yes. final episode, the final final episode. When you see like Emma oh being like, there's one. Like section that I really, really have to work on, <laughs> <laughs> and it's I need to do Texas. <laughs> well, they're all. It's really cool because they're all working on the same scene, and they right. do that deliberately. And it's just so meaningful. <laughs> also, I just love that they're in Texas. <laughs> they go yeah. to Texas. Oh, okay. oh yeah, because I'm from Texas. I'm just like Texas, <laughs> and there are cows, so that's fair. I live by some cows. There's more cows in California. There's a lot of cows. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know. Texas is pretty big. There's probably a no, lot no, of no. cows. No, no, no. There's more in Texas. There's, I mean, say, it's all about cattle know. ranching. Like, that's there's what Texas is known here. Oh, the, the beef but here, those though, are like the steaks are not the same in Texas. Yeah. But so. ours are like cows come from California. Yes. Real California cheese. It's the cheese. <laughs> Which is <laughs> false no, because the best cheese Wisconsin? comes from Wisconsin. <laughs> no, I yeah. disagree with that, but that's a different oh. story for another time. The best cheese comes from Wisconsin. No, it does not. It comes from California. America. America. I just like I, food. There is, a, there is a store that I pass by when I drive up from Chicago to this place in Wisconsin that I go to called Cheese Gifts and Fireworks. That's the name of the store. Do you buy each one of each? It's I Every don't know. Time? I don't go. Do I you just tie a block there. of cheese to a firework? No, I would do that's it. A shame. <laughs> I would do it for science. Anyway, <laughs> so, anyway, cows. So um, anyway, cows. <laughs> Yeah, I, I really like, uh, I just, I like that for Miyamori in particular, um, not really knowing, kind of being big picture, like I said, like being connected to everything. Mm -hmm. um, she finally finds meaning in that, like I mean, bringing people together and like lighting the fire in your heart or whatever she says. She has yeah. this like really inspirational speech. Yeah, she has speech. a very inspirational yeah. speech yeah. at the end. Yeah, I love how um, everyone, as soon as they got the okay, they just locked down and just oh, everyone worked together. It was so meetings amazing. Meetings on meetings and like, even, all right, I got this, you got that. Like, even stupid dude. Yeah, oh, what's his face? The boring, the one was like, I don't want to do uh, that. Yeah. Not Taro, oh, the other guy. Hi no, not Taro. Worse than Taro. Worse than Taro, the guy who was like, uh, Hiroka? Yeah. Hiro 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 You're close. Like I can't think of it. I'm it's blanking. Hiroka yeah. or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, he's on. not <laughs> worth paying attention to until the very end when he's like, I can tape really fast. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, all right. Uh, like Even he buckled down, and I was really happy about that. Yeah. That, it, that she really, like Miyamori was instrumental in bringing that, passion to everyone and saying all right we got the go ahead let's go mm -hmm. and i was just really happy to see that <laughs> yeah tyler tyler deboer yeah uh, let's get his his final thing he's been with oh, us yeah. so yeah. well the entire time the whole time providing great stuff yeah he says uh this write-up is bittersweet guys uh with this Shirabako, my personal 10th favorite ME. That's is specific. Over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the happiness <laughs> of last episode we enter our finale um he goes on to say uh, splitting up to cover the studio deliveries, the race against time is on. We learn of the delivery trump card, ok Okitsu, the lady of the speed of uh, sound. I love her. Yeah, yeah, right? She's like one of my favorite characters. She's so good. <laughs> that was a great scene, by the way. Man, she just, Where she's just did not and give. She comes out of the, stu of the broadcast place, and all the police are like pointing their guns yeah. at her. And she's like, hello. And they're like, we haven't seen you in seven years. <laughs> and she's like, I see you're a lieutenant now. Or whatever she's like. Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. Like, Wait, I want a spin off anime about yeah. your life. Yeah, right. Yeah. The street racing. Yeah. 
Uh, but he continues, it's just a little bit of info to see if she'd been in this situation enough times uh, before it to be noted and named that the show evens, even this late character, are still having some development. Uh, Mia Mori's inspirational speech really helps sum up the show. I couldn't have said it better. This show has taught us the technical aspects of anime and how it impacts those involved. After the credits, we see Musani has got <laughs> two piece <laughs> to death. <laughs> yes. And, um, oh, really quickly, him. what yeah. is the reference for the original anime? The It's like undocumented town girl. I already forget what it was. Oh, but the I name could, of the... The name of the original anime? Because like two piece is obviously a one piece joke, but yeah. I right. couldn't figure out what the original anime was a joke about. I thought it was a reference. Yeah, it, it I probably quite is. Place it. If you know, please, yeah, please I don't. tell yeah. me. It's, it's killing me. I'm sure it is. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember. If nobody, if nobody tags me in a Facebook post, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> what are you looking at me for? Like, I, I don't want to do anything. Like, Alex is just giving me this no, dirty look. I'm like, distracted by how pretty your eyelashes look. So anyway. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll take that uh, as a so, compliment. Yeah, so sorry, Mike, continue. Oh, no worries. Um, so yeah, uh, so they're doing the two-piece adaption and an original project. Uh, looks like after the, a decline, Exodus and Third Girls has invigorated Masani, and they're expanding and rising up. Um, lastly, we see our girls recalling the progress made through the series. From where we started to the finale, we've seen them work together and get closer to their goal. Let's hope they get their dream to one day become reality. Um, and in conclusion, it's been a great ride rewatching Shirabako, Tyler says, uh, for the watch party. I believe this personally underrated series is a great experience for one to watch at least one in your life. Its insights and newfound knowledge it provides is worth the watch. Maybe one day be reunited with our dear Musani crew. <laughs> Yeah, I really hope they do some kind of like follow-up like, or something. I'm happy with where it ended. Like, if this was it, that's totally fine. Yeah, no. I, but yeah. I always want I, I do love that. I don't need a continuation, but I would watch a, a short of the Seven Lucky Battle Gods. <laughs> yeah. Because at the very oh, end, that would be cute. At the that very end, um, 3D Chan does the book. The yeah. She, the ty- tire Chan. <laughs> she does. <laughs> um, she 3D animates the ship. And you see kind of the characters like sh- going mouth. away that on the ship great. in the I sky. And it reminded me of the um, the ghost ship in SpongeBob. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Flying Dutchman. Yeah. The Flying Dutchman. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, it's not an episode of IGN Anime Club if you don't talk about SpongeBob. Yeah, um, <laughs> but uh, I would I would enjoy seeing like a seven minute short about the seven lucky battle gods. Yeah, that would be really a, cool. Actually. Like I think that'd be cute. They've that'd had really OVAs cute. for their two other shows too. So like they do get to see what Exodus was like and yeah. their girls are oh. squad. So yeah. Oh, there you go. Well this is the third one. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice. Um, Just right. such a such a good ending and not like an overly sappy ending. I mean mm-hmm. her speech, Mimori's speech is so inspirational. Um and it meant a lot to me because it, it can be hard when you're not exactly sure what your place is at work or you know in your professional life and you're still figuring that out. And she kind of figures out what she can do for everybody and, and they all thank her and she's their ace, you know. Um, but it wasn't like, it wasn't heavy handed to me. Like it could have been heavy handed. But for me, I was just like, this is just the best way to end this stressful ball of a show. <laughs> also, all the way, the way the girls all came together in the end felt right. Like the way Shizuka got her role mm-hmm. didn't feel too forced. Yeah. Um, like it's like, of yeah. course, like it's, it's super like, convenient or yeah. nice that she got so. to work with them. Mm-hmm. But, but it's not like she got some like huge role at the beginning or something. Yeah, she has a couple lines in the, the I did not expect that at all. I was going mm-hmm. into these last two episodes being like, that, that's just, that sucks. I don't know how they're going to have her work with them. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it was really perfect because so many episodes ago when they're doing the cast, when they're picking the cast for Ariel Girls, yeah. she, he's really focused on her. He's yeah. like, she's not, the director is like, she's not, Perfect. She's not right for this role, but there's something about her. Like I wanna, I, if I could, I if would I have could, her. If I could, I'd have her on. <laughs> and and I filed that away, but I didn't really think about it. So it wasn't like surprise. We're just going to have her audition again. It was kind of like, oh, he wants her in the show, but d- doesn't have a yeah, place for a, her. There's yeah, there's good yeah. foreshadowing there. Although honestly, I if she hadn't gotten the part, I would have been okay with that too. Sometimes yeah. not yeah. everything is a happy. Like I'm really yeah. happy that it did, and they did it in sort of a natural way. But mm. if she hadn't gotten the part. I would have been like, well, that's kind of, that's unfortunately how life work, works sometimes. Yeah. And yeah. I think that was good that they had her rejected for so many things, too. It's like her, the way she, her part of the industry worked is very competitive and it's very hard. Not that the rest isn't, yeah. but just what she specifically is do, trying to do starting from the very bottom is just very, very, very difficult. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's not like Musani is just working on some no-name thing. Yeah. yeah. So and that's even, a challenge. 
Right. And even Diesel, excuse me, <clears throat> even Diesel Chan, uh, she only has like one line in the whole show. Like she wants to be a writer. Right. I mean, she doesn't succeed right away. They The ending is really good, I think, because it's, we have taken a step towards our goal. They haven't met the goal. Yeah. yeah. Some of them aren't even close. Right. Like Diesel Chan is really good at what she does, but I mean, like the first time she wrote dialogue, they scrapped it completely and mm-hmm. rewrote it. Like, yeah. And I, I thought that was realistic, and um, it made kind of the happy ending. Th- that's what I mean by it, it wasn't heavy. It's a better sad, payoff. Yeah. It was, yes. it was a payoff because it was like this is not a vic- This is a small victory. This uh, isn't the end. Yeah, it's progress, but they have not won the game. Yeah, they're sure. still. Yeah, they so didn't have growth. an end where it's like, hey, we got all of our like Emmys and yeah. whatnot. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, we got it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, <We're> down here. <laughs> uh, that's what's. I think that's what's so inspirational about the show is mm-hmm. it's more attainable success, right? Um, and it's good to think about success in pieces like that instead of. I mean, they have an end goal, but they've they've met that goal in a lot of ways. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Totally. Yay. So, yay, yeah. Shiro Bako. Yay, anime. Yay, yay anime. anime. It was Magna a great Mike. watch party. Yeah. Great choice. Yeah, I just want to know what you guys think about because we had seen it before. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm glad I voted for it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be so stressful. Oh, yeah. yeah. That totally yeah. surprised me. I was like, oh, yeah. it's going to be really cutesy wootsy. I'm like, oh, my gosh, what's going to happen? Ooh, it's very intense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys will join us for our five centimeters per mm-hmm. second mm-hmm. watch party. A very short little break in between whatever we watch next. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm glad. I got so many messages following up with this, like the people love Shirabako. They're so glad they finally got to watch it. I'm like, yes, yes, that's what this is for. Yeah, so <laughs> hopefully the next one we watch is something we all are super excited yeah. to have. Yes. Too. Don't boo. Vote. Thank you vote. all for <laughs> voting for Shirabako. Yes. Ryan and I had a very yeah. long campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. It worked. Thank you. <laughs> it was so long ago, but it was successful, and thank you. Yeah, <laughs> so I, hope, I hope it paid off for everybody who voted, and I hope you enjoyed it. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate people's recommendations. Like oh. even if sometimes we don't do watch parties, but enough people are like, "Oh, I really want to watch this." I'll like check it I'll out. watch it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Oh, yeah. If I haven't seen it Speaking already, of, do you have yeah. any teases for what might be on the watch party? Um, let me think. A lot of people wanted Psychopaths. That's for a what while. I was thinking. Yeah. Psychopaths. Uh, Psychopaths is a big nominee. There were mm. some for Kids on the Slope. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> the, the anime <laughs> that's the not anime about skiing. Not <laughs> better off dead. Yeah, <laughs> it's not about skiing. <laughs> it's not about skiing. <laughs> I just hope the next year we watch is something I haven't seen yet, because all the ones we've done so far are things I've seen. Okay. So hopefully oh. we'll see. I'm not just picking out of shows I've seen. It's just shows that are good <laughs> and that you, we something want. unique. You are, you are the. Yeah. The ultimate, you've seen all of them. Just, I'm just too good. I want to do like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. How about we do Makano no Danshi part two? No, <laughs> part two. <laughs> anyway, no, never, never again, <laughs> never again. <laughs> yeah, what let, about? let us know what you want to watch, and we yeah, will and keep see. an eye on the Facebook group for that poll. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh,